Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to remove more than one character from a string in C, C++. So if you're interested, let's get started. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File, New, Project. From the New Project window, make sure you have Visual C++ and Win32 console application selected. And let's call this one, Remove Chars from String. Click OK. On this page, let's click Next. And then here, let's hit Finish. Let's see how we can remove multiple characters from a string. Let's say we have a string, str equals, this is a test string with many words in it. Okay, so we have this string. Let's say we want to remove like all the vowels from this string or just to remove any characters that we specify. Let's assume we want to write a function called remove chars from string. And the way we're going to do it is we pass in our string and then we pass another string for all the characters we want to remove. For example, I want to remove I, A, E from this string. So let's see how we can do that. First thing we want to do is define this function. Let's say void remove chars from string given a char pointer p and a const char pointer p chars to remove so this is our function here first thing we always want to do is check the input parameters if null is our p pointer or null is the p chars to remove then we just return if you haven't watched my video about removing a single character from string this would be a good time to go check that video first and then come back here because this is kind of related the only difference is that in this video we're gonna see how we can remove multiple characters so we're gonna do the following we're gonna need a char pointer p dest which is equal to p initially and then while contents of p p plus plus then we need to make sure that the destination is null terminated at the end okay so with this boilerplate let's see how we can add the code to remove the characters the slower way to do it is to compare each character with the characters here and if we do that for every single character in the string that's going to be slow because if we have a string that has for example let's imagine it has a million characters in it this is going to be slow a better way to do this is to use bucketing so i'm going to use a bucket array of integers that indicates which characters to remove let's initialize this to all zeros okay so now we say remove contents of p chars to remove equals one just set it to true or one and then we can say here p plus plus now if we say if not remove then we copy it so what we want to do is use this array to help us figure out if we want to keep the character or remove it if not remove it then we want to say contents of p dist plus plus equals contents of p and then p plus plus is always going to be true this is the fastest easiest way to do it so basically what we're doing here is we have an array of 256 characters for each character that's passed in we're going to put a flag saying this character needs to be removed and as we scan the input string if we find that this character is not going to be removed we just simply keep it otherwise we just ignore it so let's give this a try say here printf string before let's say before removal and we give it a string and i'm gonna put this into a const string here const char e equal this then p remove lastly i want to say printf so let's compile and run Control f5 to compile and run okay let's look at this so as you can see it has removed all of these characters we can actually even remove just for fun like some more characters to see how this works let's remove space remove s all right Control f5 again now we have a completely different result all right, so that's how you remove certain characters from a string. Another way you could think of this is maybe you want to use the var args so that you can pass each character alone, like for example, like this. I don't know if that's more useful to people or this is more useful. If you think I should do it this way, please comment and let me know. And that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.